Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a hot minute, like tss, super hot minute since I filmed. So if I'm a little rusty, give me a break. It's been a while. But I do feel really good today. I really have been wanting to film, so I'm finally doing it. I think I'm going to film two videos today if I have time. I have time. It's just if I get lazy in between, then it's going to be an issue. But today I am filming a Most Embarrassing Moments Part 2 because about a year ago, literally like a year ago, almost exactly a year ago today, I did my most embarrassing moments, not part one, but just like the orig. And looking back at it, those were like not bad. Like those were not bad moments. Like I've had very bad moments and it's so hard for me to think of them on the spot. The moments I'll actually remember them is when I'm like driving in my car and I just reminisce over the most embarrassing moments of my life. And then I just cringe thinking about everything. And then when I'm asleep at night, like going to bed, I'll think about it. It's like those moments. And I don't know if I like have my phone with me to like take notes in the car or like while I'm trying to go to bed. So it's hard to think of these, but I have thought of three Maybe four really good ones. I have them in my notes today. Let me know if you guys like these embarrassing moments videos in the comments below because I don't know if you guys do. Last year it seemed pretty good, but no one really gave any feedback. So if you guys don't enjoy these, I'm obviously not going to make them anymore because it's just exploiting my embarrassing moments. And who wants to do that? <laughs> not me. Um, actually, I do. This is like amazing. So let's go with... Uh, I actually have four of them. One of them I'm debating sharing or not because it's not like that interesting. So I'll save that to the end. Um... <laughs> We'll start with the worst one. So when I was in grade school, I rarely ever got sick. Like I was that kid who only got sick if he was faking it. Like I always tried to fake illnesses so I could get out of going to school. Um, never really worked because you know, parents are actually smart and have brains. But I've tried so many times and I'm now past that phase, thank you Jesus. But back in the day, it was a moment. But this is not faking an illness. This time in grade school, I was very, sick and when I get sick it's like my immune system is like non-existent like I just it shuts down so I was really sick I was literally throwing up every two minutes I'm sorry TMI not really it's just it is what it is um and shitting my pants every couple hours I thought I was getting better it was like the stage towards the end where you're like I'm better but like you don't really want to go out in case you do have an episode so during this moment for me I went out to my driveway to play with Chuck because I was so bored being in the house all the days. You guys know how boring it gets. So I either do puzzles or watch TV or go on the computer, but today I wanted to do chalk. Not today, but that day. So I was playing with chalk in my driveway and my neighbors and I don't really communicate with each other ever. Like we're just kind of like there, like we're all planted here. We see each other like, hey, wave maybe once, but we don't really communicate. So I was out in the driveway playing chalk, like I've said for the fourth time now. So <laughs> my neighbor comes out and I'm in just pajamas. Like I was not feeling a vibe like there was no glamness to this illness so here I am in my pajama outfit looking absolutely atrocious drawing who knows what with chalk probably just like tic-tac-toe what did I what do you guys draw with chalk just like random pictures I forget what I drew but um so <laughs> my neighbor comes out and I'm just kind of drawing I notice her and I'm like I should go inside because I'm like not about to do with her but whatever so I was drawing and out of nowhere I was young, mind you. I'm not, this is so far beyond my days. Like, this is in the past. So please do not judge me for this moment and what I'm about to share. But I was in a squat position on my driveway and I had to pass gas. That's the cleanest, most proper way I can say it. I had to make a two. <laughs> so, so what I thought was going to be a safe, unnoticeable moment, I can't. This is bad. This is like the worst. I don't think it gets worse than this. Long story short, I shit my pants in front of my neighbor on my driveway while I was playing with chalk. And there's no, it wasn't just like a, like a thing. Like it wasn't just like a, oh, like, oh my God, let me run inside. No, <laughs> no. I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. I think the best way I can describe it is if you guys have ever seen those National Geographic videos of volcanoes right when they erupt, that was my ass in my driveway while I was staring at my neighbor. <laughs> there was no safe way to get out of there because she, I still to this day don't know if she knows what happened, but our houses are close. Like she was right near me. I don't know if there was sound. I was so traumatized just the actual action of doing it, like the actual action of shitting my pants in front of my neighbor while she's watching me play with chalk, I was traumatized. And I wasn't like five or six, like I was like nine or 10. Like I knew what was going on. She knew what was going on. So 
I was in pajama pants, like I mentioned before, and there was no easy way of walking into the house. I knew stuff was going to slide down. I knew if I wasn't quick enough, things would have slid out. I really don't even know what happened at the end of the day. <laughs> it was so traumatic. I literally blacked out the experience up until the moment of me just staring at her in shock, like, like, <laughs> does she know what I just did? Does she know what just happened in my pants? I still to this day don't know. But it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life because I kind of just went inside and I think I was just like in shock the entire rest of the day. So let's just move on to number two. <laughs> so this next one happened like a week ago. And if you guys don't know, I have two little dogs and my mom's like greatest passion in life is training my dogs. Don't ask why, she just loves it. So one of my dogs, Lola, our girl, she is so antisocial and anxious around other dogs. So we can't take her anywhere that has other dogs, no dog parks, no dog classes, no nothing. If she sees a dog, it's the end of the world for her. But my little dog, Rocky, our boy, always goes to training class, I guess you could say dog class, and my mom loves it. So she signed him up for this practice competition to hopefully, like, milk him for all we have. Like, just, like get as much out of this dog as possible. So she had this training competition coming up and I really wanted to go watch because that's amazing. Like whose little dogs do you get to watch in a competition? You, I never get to see my own. So I wanted to go see what it was about. And we got there and I was with my sister too, but our dog was kind of having an off day and I knew my mom was super passionate about this. So I didn't want us to like ruin her experience by us distracting our dog because the dogs have to focus on the competition and if they are distracted by us, which I know is kind of the point of dog class, you gotta like train them to not be distracted, but I really wanted my mom to do good. So I was just like, mom, you know what? Even I will just go sit out in the car and FaceTime, like we'll FaceTime the thing so we can still see what's going on. So we did, I called my sister's phone and I propped up my little phone in there so we could see the competition and we went out to the car and watched the competition. So <laughs> as soon as we got out to the car, we had propped up the phone and it was all cute. We could see everything, good quality, no problems. And all of a sudden, this woman sits directly in front of our camera lens to block our view. I did not mute my phone. It was just like, you know, FaceTime. You can talk back and forth and hear everything everyone is saying. And we had not muted the phone on our end so we could still hear everything there and they could hear everything from us. So. What had happened was, this woman sat down in front of our lens, and out of nowhere, I just burst out, oh, no, you better not, and in that tone, in that tone, that volume, clear as day, woman literally turns, whips her head around, no joke, she literally looks at the camera, like, in utter disbelief of what she's hearing. I don't know if she knows it was a live stream, but I know she couldn't see us, because my phone was flipped the other way, so she just saw black screen, or... The back of my phone but she just <laughs> looked at the camera and I was on the other end just in utter sh like I was and I looked at my sister and she had that same face so I knew it was real I knew I did not just make this moment up because I had to go back in there after this was done I couldn't just avoid this woman so moral of this story like I knew I always know stuff like this is meant to happen to me I'm never really embarrassed in these moments that wasn't super embarrassing but it was just kind of like really like did this really just happen did I really just tell this woman to not sit in front of my camera and this nice little old lady dog class and I did so that's number two that one was not as bad as number one I don't think the rest of them are going to be I lied this one's kind of bad <laughs> Um, so I used to work in retail, if you guys don't know. I worked at Express, the clothing store, which is why I'm always so glam. Just kidding. And a lot of my job was being in the fitting rooms, helping girls and guys try on clothes. So this one time I was back in the fitting rooms and this woman was trying to zip up her dress, which was, or seemed to be a size too small. And I'm usually, like, we're fine in that situation. Like, it's not like a big deal. Like, oh, you probably need a bigger size. Let me go grab you one. So I was trying to zip up this woman's dress forever and I was just like, you know what girl, like let's just get you a bigger size, it'll be all good. So I got her a bigger size and lo and behold, this one was not zipping up either. And then you're kind of just like, you don't want to go for a third time, oh girl, sorry, let me get you a bigger size. It was fine, it was fine, but I cannot express to you guys how long I was trying to zip up this girl's dress while she was just standing. And she was not just like a, like a teenage, like she was like in her 30s, 40s maybe. It was like a going out dress. 
So it was a very awkward situation. I was literally just zipping for a good five minutes. If you guys don't know how long five minutes is with no talking and simply trying to zip up a dress, it is a long ass time. And I did not know what to do. I was looking around for other associates. I was like, Can someone zip this dress up. And she's in the meanwhile trying to like tighten it in the back and squish it together. And I'm like, I am so sorry. Can I get you another size? And she's like, no, 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 maybe, yes, go. So I'm like, okay. So I go to get that same dress in a bigger size, which is not like, size does not matter, but in this situation, when you think you're two sizes smaller than you are, it's kind of a letdown. So I was kind of just like going along with it. And I get back and she tells me the original dress that she had tried on fit now. The one that was literally like three sizes too small. And I was like, what? What did you do? Did you like get liposuction and like what did you do? It was so extremely embarrassing standing there for minutes on end trying to zip up this girl's dress. I, it's one of those situations you had to like be there. You had to be one of us to realize how bad it was. Um, but a quick one, this was the other one I wasn't sure if I was gonna share. It. This one might even be better than the dress one. I don't know. That dress one seemed kind of like boring. But this next one happened again at retail and it was one of my old acquaintances who came up to the register and I hadn't seen this woman in a very long time and I was under the impression it was my old cheer coach like I don't know what clicked in my head what didn't focus right but I was a hundred percent sure this was my old cheer coach so I freak out because I haven't seen her in so many years I'm like oh my god it's been so long how are you like blah 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 like it's been like and she's looking at me like oh yeah like miss you too but not in the same way I was because like cheer you're very enthusiastic but this did not seem like a cheer coach I was so confused I was like does she not like me like we haven't seen each other in a long time does she know who I am but she did I could tell she knew who I was and then she proceeded to say oh yeah we miss you and your mom and I was like my mom my mom was not on the cheer floor with me <laughs> what are you talking about I didn't say that but I was just kind of like oh yeah because sometimes the moms hang out in the um waiting room and the cheer competition stuff like the moms all have their hangout so I didn't really question it but then I proceeded to say, oh my god, you're pregnant! <laughs> because my, I knew I follow my old cheer coach on Facebook, and I knew she was pregnant, so when I had said that, she had shut me down completely. I was like, what did I just do? And she's looking at me like, no, no, I'm not pregnant. And I was like, who are you? I, I didn't ask, but I was just kind of like, oh, are you not? Who, like, I was so confused. Needless to say, it was not my old cheer coach. It was this woman who I used to volunteer with my mom at this dog shelter, and she was the medic at the dog shelter. Again, it was one of those moments you had to be there to really witness the embarrassment of it all, but I was so enthusiastic to see her. I was literally, oh my god, oh my god, it's been so long. But she was like, no honey, what are you talking about? It was bad. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't know how bad those last two were with the whole retail experience. It's just retail in general. It's such like, there's a lot of embarrassing moments, but it's just like certain ones that stick out to me that probably aren't as bad as I make them out to be, but I recognize them for a reason. I remember them. They stick with me, and those two are pretty bad in my eyes. Um, but let me know if you guys have worse embarrassing moments in the comments down below. I would love to hear your guys' awkward situations. But until next time, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and go enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are, and I will go enjoy the rest of mine. <laughs> Bye guys. Yeah.